Adopt a Senior Pet Month. And these senior pups have all passed their test and they are all waiting to graduate to their forever homes. And I'm starting to talk like this because yes. I got a little baby mom now. <laughs> Debbie Davids from God's Dogs Rescues is here to tell us why a grown-up grown dog might actually be the pet you're looking for instead of a little puppy. Right. Welcome, welcome. Well, Thank you so much. All right, so who did you us? bring today? Yes. Okay, here we have Mirabelle. She's between six and eight years old. She's a pit mix. She loves uh, long leisurely walks and a good Hallmark movie on the couch. She's yes. A good dog. Oh my gosh. A dog Mike. after my own heart. Yes. <laughs> and this is Marlon. He is about eight years old. He has a spinal injury, so he'll do better in a home that's got probably not little kids or stairs. He's a little nervous, a little camera shy today. But he's a little Maltese mix, about eight pounds. But as sweet as he can be. Tell you what, he is cuddly to hold. He is a doll. He's warm he really too. is. Yeah. yeah, and he's all dressed up, all dapper for you. Oh, yes. And then we definitely. have Cinnamon. We call her Cinny Mini. She's a little shepherd mix, around six to eight years old as well. We pulled her from Animal Control Services at 26 pounds. She's about 34 now, and she's still got some weight to gain, but she's a great, sweet, sweet dog. Leans into her person, as you can see. Yes, she does. <laughs> and, and just wants love. And so does that one, yeah, too. Yeah, she that does. Like, you know, I, uh, I've got she's to get, a I've got sweet to get. girl. Loves her person. So along with these three, you brought six good reasons to mm -hmm. adopt a senior dog. Yep. And what is the first one? It is... Fear surprises, right? Yeah, they're they're kind of set in their ways. Their personalities are kind of established, so you're not going to have any of those uh oh teenage moments, you know. So it's a little bit more of a stable, easier dog, usually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the second reason is that they are mostly house trained, so you don't. Yeah, have to usually deal with they've that. already been. A lot of them have already been in a home. A lot of our seniors have come from scenarios where they've been with an owner who's had to give them up for some reason. So they're established. They know house rules, you know, and are much better at that. And less demanding. Oh yeah, they they just want a, a good Hallmark movie and a bowl of pop, <laughs> bowl of popcorn and a lot of petting. They're and, a lot less demanding. Doesn't get any better than that, does no, it? No, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. And older dogs can learn new tricks, right? Absolutely. Don't ever let anybody tell you a dog can't learn. They absolutely can learn at any age. It's just working with them and loving them. Okay, and social skills. Yeah, usually these dogs are already socialized, especially if they have already been in a home. So it, it's much easier to acclimate them into new environments. They don't get quite as stressed as easily. So they're, they're usually just a simple, it's, it's a much more easy transition for these dogs. Yeah, they are pretty relaxed right yeah, now. Yeah, they really you know? are. And they're smelling pancakes yes, too. Yeah, that too. Yeah, we, we probably do smell like syrup. <laughs> but and last but not least, the, the last reason is, you know, we, we get to be the heroes, right? Absolutely. These dogs deserve a last chance. They deserve a, a final chapter of uh, having a nice soft life until it's their time. How did your rescue get started? Um, Julie started in the 90s before rescue was a word. And then in 2014, we got our nonprofit status, and we've grown from there. Okay. And about how many uh, animals do you find Forever Homes for? Um, we have did 1,400 last year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we transport all over the country. About 70% of our adoptions are out of state. And we have our own transport team, and we go to the Midwest, East Coast, and Washington and Oregon every week. And so besides, of course, uh, animals need to be adopted. You need fosters? Always. The biggest demand we need is fosters. Foster homes set these guys up for success. Having them not have to be in a kennel environment is is everything. We do have five acres with a hunt, about 130 dogs on it at any given time, but we are always looking. Cinny is actually out at home base on that property. We would love to get her into a foster home, if not her forever home, so that she can get ready. And that's a good way to, to keep them, even though they are acclimated to people, but to keep them in that family Absolutely. environment. So it's not going to be that big of a change when they do finally go to the Absolutely. Home, right? It makes it a much simpler transition and a lot less stressful. Yeah. And a lot of time for fosters, too. You can, if uh, kids need uh, service hours, oh, they can get that with fostering at home. Yeah, we do a lot of that. We actually have a lot of community service uh, projects. We've had the Eagle Scouts come out and work with us. And um, we had actually an Eagle Scout troop came out and created a meet and greet area for our dogs. and. They come to our events and help love on the kids, and yeah, there's always a chance, always room for volunteer. We, we never turn anyone away. Well, you just look at these little faces, and again, you know exactly what you're getting, yeah. and all they want is just a bunch of love. Yeah. And Hallmark movies. And Hallmark mm -hmm. movies. There you go. It's a guarantee. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. For more, for more information on God's Dogs Rescue and find out how you can adopt these sweet seniors, just go to the SA Live, uh, as seen on SA Live tab and uh, go to salive.com. Thank you very much. 